Ashley, what is our first email today? First one up is from Tara B. One of my favorite comedies of the last few years was Girls Trip. I laugh so hard no matter how many times I see it, and now I, I can honestly say my most anticipated movie this year, even more than Lion King or Avengers or Star Wars, is Little. Do you guys <laughs> think this could be as big of a surprise hit as Girls Trip was? What are your expectations going in? I'll tell you what. I, I am with you on that about Girls Trip. Girls Trip was one of the most pleasant surprised comedies I've ever seen in the sense that I had no expectations for it. It looked like another little cheap throwaway comedy it was made for like 20 million bucks. Uh, there wasn't gonna be anything to it. Maybe get a couple of laughs and that's all I was hoping for. Just give me a couple of laughs out of this thing. Girls Trip floored me. I laughed myself sick almost that entire movie. So now, you have the same produ producer, same production company, and one or two of the same cast coming back to make this little, which is basically the reverse of Tom Hanks's big, which sounds interesting. But I'll tell you what, Rob, the trailers for little have made me giddy. I've been nothing short of giddy for this movie after watching the trailers for it. And one of the coolest things that you and I found out at CinemaCon was the little girl who plays the younger version of Regina Hall. The little girl, when I think she, she was 12 years old. 10. 10. She was 10. She, when she was 10, she's the one who pitched the idea of the movie to the producer. Yep. And she got an executive producer credit on this movie. They say the, ah. youngest, the youngest person in Hollywood right now with an executive producer credit on a movie. And to kick all that off, they gave the kid a first look deal at Universal Studios. So they gave this little girl a first look. She's an executive producer on this. She's got a first look deal at Universal Studios. And as we're sitting there, Rob, in this auditorium, and they're talking about that, and they mention she's the producer, she's got this deal. I wanted to look at you and say, I mean, damn, you and me are gonna go eat dinner at Chili's later, and this 13-year-old <laughs> girl's got a first look deal at Universal Studios. What the hell are we doing wrong? But anyway, I think this movie looks hilarious. I cannot wait to see this thing. I think it does carry the potential. Because remember, Girl's Trip was a $20 million movie that made over 150 million bucks, or around 150 million bucks. That's supremely profitable for a movie that cheap. And I do expect that this movie can repeat that. Now, I'm actually going to go see Little tonight if I can get out of the house. I'm actually going to go see Little tonight. I've got a screening for it later tonight. I'm so excited for it. Anyway, Rob, what has your impressions been for, uh, and what are you expecting out of Little? Well, you know, we saw an extended clip uh, of, of it at, um, at the presentation. And yes, we did. They brought the, they brought the cast out. And I'm with you. I, I thought this movie looked hilarious. And she, she's the girl, I, I don't know her name. I can't remember she's, her name either. She's 14 years old now. And she is front and center in this thing. You know, I mean, not since maybe Tatum O'Neill in, in, in Paper Moon back in the 70s have we seen a, a young actress deliver. She looks to be one heck of a comic performer. I mean, <laughs> even at 14, because it's not like, big she's actually playing a grown woman in a 14 year old's right. body yeah and dude she crushes it and and i and and Issa Rae, I, the whole thing was hilarious to me and i'm like eh, you know it's it's a variation on a theme with shazam you know in theaters we've got another version of, of a young kid as an adult but this is a young kid this is a young kid uh, an adult in a young kid's body and it the timing, the performances, the lines, the situations. This looks like to be one of the great. I mean, maybe I'm overselling it, but man, it looked like a great comedy. Uh, really, I love situational humor. That's my favorite kind of humor. And this has this uh, obviously irresistible log line of a situation. But to see it reversed where the kid has to play the adult, that could get that could get hard. That could not. I but it looks like they nailed this. And I was just chuckling with delight watching the trailer at CinemaCon, the extended clip. You know what it, it reminded me of? It reminded me of, of um, uh, Umbrella Academy with Seven. Like one of the most impressive things to me about Umbrella Academy is this little kid, this dude, oh, yeah. this young guy, playing like a 70 year old man and he completely convinces me that whole movie that yes, that is a 70 year old man in that little kid's body. I yeah. never doubt it. And she brings to little a little bit of that same feeling. Now, granted, we only have a small sample size 
from the clips and trailers, but it looks like she brings that same sort of thing. I never doubt that this is a mid 40s year old woman trapped in a young girl's body. I never doubt it for a second. And the rest so, of the cast is hilarious too. Yeah, they I mean, look it great. also looks like they're they're they've been given a great script to work with. It really looks like it's just zippy, punchy, hilarious fun. Ashley, you've had a chance to see, you know, the spots and trailers. You got any expectations going into little? What are you looking forward to in this? Um, I I think it's going to be great. I'm actually wanted to go back though. I'm curious, how did she get in the position where she was ten years old pitching this <laughs> idea to like, executive? That's what Do I was asking know? myself. I, I have no idea. My only guess is I'm wondering if she was an extra or played a small bit role as a child on one of the guy's films and just approached him afterwards and say, I've got an idea. I got a feeling her parents just showed her big for the first time or something. And then went to the producer. But that's a really good question. How did she get that meeting with the producer? She's got to be, I mean, she's got to know somebody, right? She's also, yeah. she's also clearly an extraordinary kid. She's really yeah. smart too. That's cool. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great. Sometimes I have problems with like precocious kids or like kids acting like little know-it-alls, but I feel like this is totally a different scenario and it's going to be hilarious.